Five, four, three, two, one. That Avionics power, telemetry nominal. 33 Raptor engines. This is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Push Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. Most engines cut off. Stage separation. Power, I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm you can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand side. Landing burn. Engine ignited. Engine ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. This moment when SpaceX caught its records return booster right back at the launch pad is absolutely historic and has far-reaching implications. Elon Musk's company launched its enormous Starship rocket on its boldest flight yet. The empty Starship, which is nearly 400 feet tall, blasted off at sunrise from near the Mexican border. But what makes this important is not just the launch, but the fact that SpaceX brought the first stage booster to land back at the launch pad from where it was launched within just seven minutes. While SpaceX has been recovering first stage boosters of its smaller Falcon 9 rockets for nine years, these are much smaller. And they land on ocean platforms or on concrete slabs far from the launch pads, not right back on them. Recycling Falcon boosters has sped up the launch rate and saved SpaceX millions. Doing this for Starship is a much bigger feat, considering the Starship is the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built. All of this could happen because the launch tower had two huge metal arms called chopsticks, which caught the 232-foot long descending booster. This whole innovative structure is called Mechazilla. Mechazilla has massive mechanical arms which are designed to catch the super heavy booster mid-air as it returns to Earth. Earlier, Elon Musk had explained Mechazilla saying that this is a custom-built tower with arms designed to catch the largest flying and heaviest flying object ever made. It weighs about 250 tons, we'll make that lighter over time. How it works is that the SpaceX Starship rocket with its booster launches from the ground. After reaching a certain altitude, the booster separates from the upper stage of the rocket. It starts descending back to Earth using precision thrusters to control its path. As the booster nears the landing site, Mechazilla's giant arms move into position. The booster hovers briefly before the arms catch it, ensuring a safe landing. This new method of rocket recovery is more efficient and reusable compared to traditional landing techniques, hence reducing launch costs and increasing the sustainability of space missions. Also, it cuts down on turnaround time needed to prepare for the next launch. In fact, the next launch can take place within an hour according to Elon Musk. The implications of Mechazilla's structure on space travel are huge. NASA has already ordered two Starships to land astronauts on the moon later in this decade. SpaceX intends to use Starship to send people and supplies to the moon and eventually to Mars, which Elon Musk believes is a way to save civilization. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more such content, keep watching Mint.